Now, Governor Stitt and other state leaders have promised that if any hot spots do develop in Oklahoma, they would act quickly to suppress them. At this stage, they do not believe that is warranted. However, the mayors of our two largest cities are concerned, as we learn in this o &R Extra. It has been seven weeks since restrictions were lifted in Oklahoma City, and this is our first press conference since that day. I said at that time that you would hear from me if any of the major data points spiked upward. And unfortunately, that is why we are here today. I believe the, the week ahead of us is going to be a crucial time for us to, tr to track uh, our overall uh, data as it relates uh, to the spread and to, to that, the, the impact of that spread on hospitalizations. Keep in mind, we have never gotten close to overwhelming our healthcare system in OKC, but that's right where we want to stay. We are now in a zone where we need to pay very close attention each day to what is happening with hospitalizations. Our hospital capacity in Tulsa remains fine. And that is the, the primary metric that the state is using to, to track risk as it relates to reopening. Um, but also, at some point, if your positive cases continue to go up, and especially if they're going up at the rate that they've been going up in Tulsa over the last week or so, um, your hospitalizations are eventually going to start to catch up with that. I have always said we would follow science and data in our pandemic response, and we're taking this time today to walk you through the science and the data because this chapter presents some new twists, and we're trying to react accordingly. But if hospitalizations continue to rise at the rate seen over the last few days, or if deaths return to the rates seen previously, we will have little choice but to roll back to earlier phases of our reopening. This is a critical week, and we will be watching this data every day. Everything we're hearing right now, based on the data we're hearing around the causes of this uptick in cases, again, it's not from people going to protests or to rallies. It's from people going to weddings and funerals and family gatherings and bars and other things like that that are causing the, this uptick. The virus would be stopped in its tracks if we would each do three things. Keep our distance, wash our hands, and wear our masks in public situations where social distancing is difficult. And I can't believe I have to say this, but if you are sick, please stay at home. And I think he and I both have in our minds that this next week is a critical week uh, for identifying uh, what, uh, if anything, Oklahoma's major urban areas are going to have to do to get these numbers un under control before they start to endanger our hospital capacity.